Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. <clears throat> okay, let's make a start with our funky anodized metal. I'm in the shading tab. I'm going to enable viewport shading and I've added an object that's got a variety of geometry and that's because using this shader on something very basic like a cube or a sphere doesn't necessarily bring out the true um, nature of this shader. Anyway, let's make a start. So I've got a principled shader already loaded and I'm gonna increase the metallic value to one, specular to one, decrease the roughness to 0.1 and leave everything else as it is for now. I'm going to press Shift A and search for a layer weight node. And I'm gonna take the facing output and plug that into the base color. Next up, I need a noise texture and a Voronoi texture and a texture coordinate. But before I plug any of those in, I'm going to pop in a color ramp between the layer weight node and the principled shader. I'm going to set the color mode to HSL, the interpolation mode to FAR, and then basically put the same color on each of the um, points. So I'm going for a blue. So I've got a value of one, saturation of one, and hue of 0.66. So we'll just do that again. And you can already see this in action, but I found that the stripes were sort of a bit too um, regimented. So I took a noise texture, set the scale to 200, detail to 15, and roughness to one and plugged that into the Voronoi Textures vector slot. I then increased the scale on that to 40 and the randomness kept at one. And I plugged the distance from that into the blend of the layer weight. And you can see how that softens it off. And basically what it's doing is scattering via the noise texture, the Voronoi texture. So if I show you them both, hmm, can't really see much because there's not a lot going on. Uh, in fact, there is a lot going on, but it's better if I zoom in. So you can see how it's kind of scattering those co colors across, which is good. Um, now, next, for the texture coordinate, I need to take the normal output and plug that into the normal of the layer weight. Doesn't make a huge difference from the front, but it kind of makes a difference overall. And if I sort of rotate this around, you'll see how this anodized metal thing works. It kind of keeps everything where it is, but it has this color shifting property almost. Isn't that fabulous? And believe it or not, that's actually your entire node setup to create this look. So let's just tidy that up a bit and then we'll send it to render. Now I'm only gonna use, let's say, 256 samples so it won't come out crystal clear but it will be plenty um, I'm going to deselect denoise as well and see what we get and there we go just over 20 seconds for something with a whole heap of color the metallic values specular values and also all of the geometry as well so i hope you like this and we'll put it to use in the future if you have learned something from this video please remember to give it a thumbs up you are really helping me build this channel and of course subscribe for future content in the meantime thanks for watching